Seth Money right. Brown, Mary right. Smith Jr. That boy Money Brown, he get a lot of money, that's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> yeah. What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on the legendary Canelo Alvarez, the hottest fight on the planet, the number one pound for pound king, the four division world champion, the undisputed super middleweight king of the world, who's looking to be the greatest Mexican fighter of all time and one of the greatest to ever lace him up. Now, people out here going crazy because Canelo was out there partying and having fun or whatnot, right? What he worked hard to do, you understand? And they want to just take this and run with it, you feel me? I want y'all to listen to what Canelo had to say while having fun. And y'all know Monty Brown to be back with the Great Assessment family. Now, as y'all can see, man, Canelo was enjoying himself with his family, his team, his friends, and the people, you know what I mean, who got nothing but love for him. And what's wrong with that, bro? What's wrong with that? You know, all y'all simple-minded, want to be judgmental-ass people out there, you understand what I'm saying? That want to try to look at somebody and say, oh, you know, Canelo is drunk. And Canelo is this and Canelo is that. Bro, he earned the right to do what he want to do. At the end of the day, he earned the right to do what he want to do. And if Canelo Alvarez want to go out and party and have a few drinks with his family, right? That man can do that. Canelo is rich as fuck. <laughs> Last time I checked, right? I'm quite sure y'all know that. He's rich as fuck. He's earned the right to do what he want to do. What y'all think he's supposed to be in the house and just be a little square or something? Right? Now y'all want to compare him to this fighter, that fighter, and this fighter? Man, cut it out, bro. Cut it out. This dude put the hard work in every day, every night. If you want to go out and enjoy himself, he can do that. Period. You motherfuckers don't pay Canelo bills. Right? Y'all not doing nothing for this man. All y'all doing is sitting around and hate. Oh, shit. Is Canelo having a drink? Oh, man. Look at this. Oh, look. If anything, this should show you that he ain't no weak-ass individual. Right? That he's down to earth. That yes, Canelo have a drink every now and then. He he was having wine when he was giving the interviews when he said his brother was getting kidnapped. You understand? If y'all just pay attention to things, right? He had a drink with Nas when he was chilling with Nas. So it's nothing wrong with having a drink, right? The thing is, you drink responsible. You drink responsible, and that's exactly what Canelo was doing: drinking responsible. Last time I checked, you did. And it's what, 21 and older to have a drink? How old is Canelo Alvarez? 31? Ain't he a grown ass man? Right? Ain't he a grown ass man? To all you judgmental motherfuckers out there, tell me y'all haven't had a drink. You motherfuckers probably was drinking while you trying to talk shit about him at the same time. Get the hell out of here, man. Get out of here. Y'all are pathetic. Pure pathetic. You did? I like fucking tequila. Patron, I'm going to drink, right? I'm going to drink. If I want to have a drink, I'm going to drink. So what's wrong with Canelo having a drink with his family? Like, stop reaching for the stars, man. Y'all are pure pathetic, bro. Stop reaching for the stars. At the end of the day, y'all trying to come out and trying to turn this man down, and it's not going to happen, bro. It's not going to happen. It's not going to throw Canelo off his game. He's not going to stop going to the gym. He's not going to stop training. You understand what I'm saying? Canelo probably in the gym training right now as I'm making this goddamn video. That's how disciplined and dedicated he is. <laughs> you dig what I mean? What y'all want him to be? Floyd Money Mayweather? Oh, I don't drink. I don't smoke. No. Every man is they, they, they damn self, bro. You feel me? Every man is they own, bro. So cut it out, man. Cut it out. 75% of the fucking world probably is drinking. So what y'all gonna do? What, like, y'all have nothing. Nothing for this man. So y'all just make up anything. Because he's not drinking unresponsible, right? He's not doing other things to say, oh, man, look, Canelo tripping. He said, no, the man is partying and having fun with the fucking crowd. Partying and having fun with the crowd. Last time I checked, when you go out to a club or when you go out to places, if you're having drinks, you're having fun, you're kicking it, right? So what's so bad about this situation? 
Somebody please tell me, because I'm lost and I'm confused. Oh, uh, Canelo got on the mic and said, let's fucking party, right? No fucking around, let's party. Is that a crime? Is that a fucking crime? Or is that what you're supposed to do at a fucking party? Get y'all ass up and let's have some fun. I'm out, motherfucker. I'm Canelo Alvarez. Let's kick it. Drinks on me. You dig what I'm saying? Drinks on me. Man, cut it out, man. Y'all are getting pathetic nowadays, bro. Y'all doing anything to try to turn this man down, and that shit is not going to work. It's not going to work. Canelo can do what he wants to do. You feel me? He can do what he wants to do. You dig? He control his life. That's his chessboard. That's his chess boy. He control his life, bro. And I'm quite sure he had a lot of friends and family around to put him in what? The back seat of what? A truck or a car or whatever the fuck he was in. Period, dog. Period. Now, what really matters is what he's about to do in 2002, you know, to, to create more history. That's what y'all should be worried about. That's what y'all should be focused on. You dig? Cause ain't nothing taking him out the number one pound for pound spot. Ain't nothing gonna stop him from going out there being victorious. You understand? And, it, and and stop trying to make it like he's an alcoholic too. Let me put that out there. I'm sorry, y'all. Stop trying to make it as if this man is an alcoholic. Like we just see Canelo just drunk, drunk, drunk here, drunk, drunk, drunk there. Like cut that shit out, bro. Please. And stop trying to compare him, man. Stop trying to compare this man to other fighters, man. Let him be. Let him live. You dig? Y'all just watching this man every fucking move to criticize, bro. To criticize. That's the terrible part. Y'all not looking at this like, damn, Canelo cool as fuck. He having a good time. He drinking with his people. Shit, Canelo like one of us. They not looking at it like that. They looking, oh, shit, we got some on Canelo. We got the dirt. Oh, let's go put him on players, y'all. He's drunk. Oh, shit, look. We got him. Like, y'all don't have shit. Nothing. This ain't going to stop the money. This ain't going to stop the fan base from growing. This ain't going to stop the titles from coming. This ain't going to stop him from knocking motherfuckers out. This ain't going to deteriorate his skill set or none of that. None of it, bro. Because he work his ass off. He's disciplined. When he get back in that gym, he going to sweat that shit right out. Or he probably pissed it out when he went to the crib. Like, stop trying to criticize people, man. Quit being negative all the time, bro. Quit being negative. Quit trying to find something to downgrade the motherfucker on, man. Let this man live his life. The man is running the game. Like I say, the man is doing for the sport of boxing what you want him to do for the sport of boxing. Help push it forward. Help push it forward. Bringing eyes to the sport. Keeping it in the front. You did? Keeping it in the front. Going out there becoming fighter of the year. Putting on the big pay-per-view fights. You feel me? When he fight, everybody, oh shit, Canelo fighting tonight, they want to buy it. And that's going to continue. It's going to continue. Now he's going to 175. And he's fit to reign at 175. Or he probably just whooped one of your favorite fighters' ass and shut y'all the fuck up. You don't know. You never know. He haven't made the next chess move yet. So we don't know. All we know is he's enjoying himself, right? He's partying, enjoying the fruits of his labor, right? And then it's right back to the gym, bro. Right back to the gym. Period. Nothing's going to stop Canelo Alvarez from growing, bro. Nothing. Nothing. Because when you put the hard work in, when you dedicate it to your craft, it's always going to show. Always going to show, man. It's just that you critics out there, you haters and naysayers out there, y'all want to see this man fall so bad to where y'all just start making videos up about any goddamn thing. Anything. And it's getting just ridiculous, bro. Ridiculous. You know what I mean? Now this man can't even go out and enjoy himself. Now he ain't got to be a fucking saint. Canelo never claimed to be a saint. He didn't. He never said a prince said, oh, well, you know, I don't do this and I don't do that. This is this. and th No, he never claimed that shit. You feel me? Y'all need to start paying more attention, and then y'all have better stories to talk about, bro. You understand? It, it, it's better when you're trying to, you know, uplift and turn down, bro. It is. It's always better when you uplift instead of trying to turn down. And all y'all cats doing is trying to turn this man down, finding some dirt to try to, you know, make him not look like who he is, bro. And it's not going to work, man. It's not going to work. Floyd little tactics didn't work, and what y'all doing is not going to work, bro. At the end of the day. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. His fan base ain't going to do nothing but fuck with him even more. Like, y'all don't understand that. By y'all shitting on Canelo and trying to turn him down, his fan base ain't going to do nothing but fuck with him even harder, bro. Fuck with him even harder. You know what I mean? And like I say, y'all don't have the right stories to put out to try to turn him down. Y'all just making up shit that, that has no, you know, no merit to it. None at all. Because even though he's drinking, did he do something wrong? Did he hurt somebody? 
You see what I'm saying? So let's just cut it out, man. Let's cut it out. Let's be real. Let's be fucking adults, right? Stop acting like little ass kids. Every time you see something you want to run and snitch, tell a motherfucker, oh man, I just seen him do this, mommy. And daddy, I just seen like y'all some fucking little ass kids, man. Cut it out. Like I said, last time I checked, the age limit to drink is 21 in America. It might be even lower in other places. So he's legal to do what the hell he want to do. You know what I'm saying? He's legal to do what the hell he want to do. Period, bro. Period. And I'm going to tell y'all this. Canelo don't owe no explanation. He ain't got to get on no fucking microphone. He ain't got to say nothing. Nothing at all. You dig? Just go back to that gym, Canelo. Do what you do best. Work your ass off to be great. You know what I mean? Uh, pick you an opponent for Cinco de Mayo. Get that opponent in the ring. Beat his ass bloody. Knock his ass out. Grab another title. And continue to control the game, man. Continue to control the game. Period. Because they can't stop you, champ. They can't stop you. They can continue to try, but there's nothing they can do to stop you. I mean, there's nothing they can do to stop you, bro. You're on your shit. Your fan base going to continue to grow. We respect you. We want you to do what the fuck you want to do. If you want to go out and chill with your family and have a few drinks, go out and chill with your family and have a few drinks, right? Like I say, you owe no explanation to nobody. And I'm quite sure you know that already. Period, bro. Shouts out to Canelo Alvarez, the king of boxing right now. Let that man live his life. All you haters can keep watching and keep trying to, um, to turn him down, but it ain't going to work. Like I say, the only thing you're doing is making this fan base even bigger. And that train ain't going to stop. It's moving at 100 miles per hour. I always say, stand your ass in front of that train and see what happened. Period. This your boy, Monty. This the NSBC move. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Money on Cash App. TreyHampton52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.